I knew I am the first patient, but I didn't care. Every day better. But. It's hard to believe that just one week before this conversation, Ferenc Jacob had heart surgery at St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto. The loving husband and devoted father needed a mitral valve repair to fix a leaky valve and improve blood flow in his heart. And they said, now it's the time because you look good. They 60, good conditions, no other issues because the valve already was working harder and harder. This operation marked the first time the hospital used a Da Vinci robot for the procedure, a minimally invasive approach. We're going to be ironing out a couple things. Global News got an exclusive look at the final dress rehearsal before the main event. Straighten out. Four nurses, an anesthesiologist, a doctor by the operating table, and another at that? the controls. There's no guesswork about the shape now. Exactly. It gives you increased dexterity and better visualization relative to its non-robotic counterpart, which I find far more valuable. The instruments that we otherwise use for minimal invasive are rigid instruments. So if we don't replicate the movements, we call the wrist the end of risk movement that the robot is able to provide us. Operating with the robot improves patient care and recovery. Robotic surgery in some ways can be considered the, the pinnacle of heart surgery. Conventional surgery requires a, a large incision in the front and for us to take a saw and open up the breastbone to get access to the heart. Robotic surgery takes that further down where your incisions can be really literally about an inch, inch in size. The real uh, huge impact is the early postoperative recovery when patients can be mobilized first compared to patients undergoing conventional surgery and also can return way faster to their routine activities. Ferenc experienced that firsthand. In a matter of days, he was up and mobile and home three days after his operation. Looking ahead, doctors say the plan is to continue to expand the robotics program and to help even more patients going forward. So patients like Ferenc can get back to living their best lives with the people they love most. Catherine Ward, Global News, Toronto.